Hey, this is a quick video to show you how you can create rooms in Bitsy without relying on the tiny tile editor here, which doesn't have features like undo and maybe some other things that might be handy. Uh, also, you have to kind of keep track of the individual tiles and arrange them on here. So what people are probably used to is using Pixie, which allows you to take an image file and have it translate it into all the tiles that are needed for a room. It even makes the room for you. So I'll show you that process. You've probably done it before, but the real question is how do you make the images that you feed to Pixie? How can you draw an entire room? So I'm going to show you a workflow that works with Photoshop and if you go just go to file new then uh, you know you can if, if you're already on a preset here sometimes it brings in odd things like if you choose one of the film and video presets it brings in these guides that you don't need so what I often do is I just choose print because I know it's just going to give me a clean artboard with nothing else on it and then I'll change the dimensions the uh, number of pixels is um, I want the number of pixels across and down for an entire room. If Since there are eight by eight pixels for each tile and there are 16 by 16 tiles, uh, it's just the distance from here to here is gonna be eight pixels times 16. So that's just 128. And it's the same for the height because everything is square. So um, I'd put 72 here, I although I don't think it matters for this. And then instead of RGB color, which gives us tons of colors, we just want bitmap and one bit means that it'll either be black or white, which is how Bitsy works. So I'll hit create. And even though it looks small here, this is an entire Bitsy room. So the next thing that's helpful for me is to create a grid of um, where the tiles go. So I'll choose new guide layout. And if I say 16 columns and 16 rows, make sure gutter is empty in both cases and hit OK. I've got essentially all of my tiles. If I look back in Bitsy, there it is. 16 tiles this way, 16 tiles that way, and I've got the same thing here. So at this point, I could start uh, drawing in the individual tiles. I can use the pencil tool, which is underneath brushes and I can draw you know on an individual one the nice thing about the bitsy editor is if I click on a pixel that's already black it'll erase it and I can't do that here but there's a trick so if you uh, hover over each of these tools there's a shortcut in this case E is for the eraser tool so if I just hit the E key it switches to the eraser tool but I can't easily switch back to the pencil so un unless I press B so instead of using two keys what you can do is just hold down the E key and start erasing and then let go and it'll switch back to the pencil so you've got a quick way to erase pixels if you want to the other thing, of course, is you can just draw across all of the tiles. You can also use some tools like the pattern stamp tool to make patterns. Uh, there's lots of features that you can take advantage of that are in Photoshop that aren't in Bitsy when you're making individual tiles. And of course, the real benefit is that you can see the whole room here. So you could draw walls without drawing individual tiles and placing them. Um, at this point, I just want to save this and I will go to File, Export, quick export as PNG and that'll just give me a PNG file on my desktop. So I'll call it my room two and I'm going to go over to Pixie. I'm just going to create a new Bitsy game. You should be able to load your existing game data. If you copy this or download it, you can feed it to Pixie and it'll add the room to your existing game. In this case, I'm just going to create a new game. It asks me for the image file, which I created a moment ago. And you could resize it, but um, at that point you're zooming in and we've made it the exact number of pixels. So you want to leave this slider at the left. Hit next. And the last thing is uh, this dither setting actually kind of uh, changes the way the pixels look. We've drawn it pixel perfect. So we don't want three dots there. We actually want it to do exactly what I drew. And so unchecking dither will do that. You can change the color palette if you wanted to, but you can also do that in Bitsy. Here, uh, it'll prepend all of the uh, names of the tiles with a, whatever room name you choose here. I'll just call it my room and hit add room. So now I can download this and import it into Bitsy, but honestly, the easiest thing for me is to just copy it to the clipboard and then highlight everything here and paste. And that's it. When I click off of that dialogue, I probably have an extra room here now in my game. There it is. It's exactly like what I drew in Photoshop. You can see all of the pixels are exactly the same. And a really great detail that's worth mentioning is even though there are 16 times 16 tiles here, uh, 
Pixie is smart enough to reuse tiles that are the same. So even though there are many, many blank tiles here, you'll see that in the list there's only one blank tile and it gets reused in all these other places. The same for tiles that look the same, like this tile and this tile. It only creates one tile for that and then reuses it. And that really is useful because you can't imagine scrolling through uh, 16 times 16 uh, tiles here every time you want to browse. So it's perfect. It's created very few actually tiles for that whole room that I created. And uh, that's it. Hopefully this helps you out. Thanks.